YouTube family. This is my cornbread salad that I'm making for our Easter dinner. Um, you start out with a pone or a skillet of cornbread and you chop it up basically. I just use a knife and rough chop mine. So I'm gonna do that right now and then I'll meet you back here in a minute. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dice up this tomato. You want it in pretty small chunks. And put this first half in here. That's a big tomato. Now I'm going to do the second half. Cornbread salad is a really good dish. It's a good side dish, especially with green beans. It reminds me of cornbread and coleslaw mixed together. Uh, growing up, my mom always made cornbread with her green beans and coleslaw, and that's what it reminds me of. So instead, of, you don't really have to fix cornbread with this meal. You can if you want to. I'm not going to. I'm gonna fix some rolls because that's what my daughters like for the bread, but I'm gonna make the cornbread salad as a side dish. So that's the other half of my tomato there. Just a minute, I'm gonna get my green onion. You always wanna make sure that you rinse all your produce off to make sure that there's no pesticides or anything on it. I'm gonna cut the tips off my onions. And then we'll just slice them up. Yes. And I'm just gonna use one whole bunch is what I'm doing. I really like onions. If you don't like onions, you don't have to put them in it. That's up to you entirely. Make it comfortable for you and your family, what you like. That's what's nice about a recipe. You can go by the recipe, but if there's something in it you don't like, don't use it. We can all use what we want and make it our own way. Okay, I put that bunch of green onions in. The next thing I'm gonna do is get a bag of finely shredded cheddar cheese. And I think my bowl's not gonna be big enough. I might have to change it out. I thought that was plenty big enough. Geesh, just a minute. <laughs> did this for my green beans, but I tell you, I don't know if that's going to fit. Seriously. That is huge. I'm going to be able to mix it up and then put it back in here. I'm going to go ahead and put it put it in this bowl here. It's a lot bigger. Goodness, that's a lot of cornbread salad. My daughter-in-law that's pregnant loves this, so 
she will eat a lot of it, I bet. Okay, let me get my bag of cheese. Okay, this is the cheese that I use, finely shredded cheddar cheese. And I'm just gonna use the whole bag because it's a big bowl of cornbread salad. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and add my mayonnaise. Two pretty good heaping things of it. Not that much there. And I'm gonna mix this up and see what it looks like. If we need to add more to it or not. You don't want it gloppy. That's a word, gloppy. But you do want it moist. You don't want it dry. And the other ingredient that I'm gonna put in it, I needed a green pepper, green bell pepper, and I forgot to get that. And then also it takes crispy bacon fried and cut up. So I've got some microwave bacon I'm gonna use and I'm gonna microwave it and let it cool and then I'm gonna cut it up in here. Yeah, I think that's about actually a perfect amount of coleslaw. I mean, mayonnaise, not coleslaw. You know where my mind's at. See what it looks like? It's not real wet, but it's not dry. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off here. I'm gonna fix my Microwave bacon, let it cool, and then I'll meet you back here in just a minute. Okay, so now I have my microwave bacon done. I'm gonna take a pair of kitchen shears and cut it up in my salad, and I'll show you what it looks like. I hope it don't get burnt. It's too hot. I think this is the easiest way to do bacon when it calls in for it in a recipe and it tastes great so why not Now I'm gonna stir it up. Okay, that's what it looks like everyone. It is delicious. There's a saying where I come from says, it's the good your tongue slap your brains out. Y'all gonna like it now. Give it a try.